Hey Kyle, it's guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to discuss getting scammed by clients. <coughs> <coughs> I'm going to give you the best three tips that I've learned over the last couple of years on how they deal with all the headaches and how they basically prevent yourself from getting scammed. When you first start out, you're going to have no portfolio. So what you have to do is build it. You're going to be contacting everybody on Instagram, any artist you know, any friends you know, trying your best, they get a lead. The more projects you do, the better you're going to get and it's going to lead to paying jobs in the future. I feel like Joe the Puma. You want to buy some sneakers? I think on my third news video, I traveled to Dublin was from Derry to Dublin is a three hour drive. I shot the video for about six hours. What The guy didn't have locations. We were just walking about Dublin, looking for car parks and empty spaces. I got paid a hundred pound that day for the video. You'll bet your sweet bippy I did. So my petrol was probably like 60 pounds. So really I made about what 40 pound profit. Well, profit if even. The worst about it was after the video he gave me the hundred pound, I was like, oh thanks. It was covered in hair gel from his bag. And, the, and he said, that's all you could afford to pay me. He then took the model from the video out for drinks after it and I just drove home. So at the start that's going to be absolutely horrendous. Before we get into the three tips, I'm going to tell you about how I almost got scammed twice and I'm going to show you the messages from the clients. Today I don't speak to one of them and today I still work for another guy so we've actually patched things up which is great. Um, but yeah, just take a look at these messages. On the first message, it was a music video. I drove up to Belfast which is about an hour and a half away and I drove back. It was all for £300 I believe, which is about $360. As you can see here, I gave him the trailer, I gave him the music video. I shot the music video in June. This was now August when I was still asking for the money. When I shot the video in June, I told him that I was moving to Canada in the summer, so in my head I was thinking, right, they're going to rip me off and I'm not going to get the money. I eventually did get paid, but then get paid until I would believe it was October time. In this second message, this was a guy I shot with about three or four times before this incident. We actually still work together today as well, but as you can see in the messages, I shot this video in June 2018. As you can see from my first message, it's the 6th of January 2019. I was asking him was he okay to send the money. As you can see in the message, we obviously had a bit of back and forth. Um, to this day, we actually are still working together, and he's actually a good friend of mine, but I think that's just ridiculous to wait that long for your money. Tip number one that we're going to discuss, getting your deposit, getting at least half up front. Nobody's going to pay you up front in full at all, so don't even ask for that. Either get your deposit first or get half up front to cover your expenses. You will get people saying that they don't have the money or they'll pay you after the music video. If you want at the start you can do that, but if you have a bit of portfolio built and you have your website and stuff up and running and you are really working for your money, you're putting in the hours, then just say no. They will come back to you and they probably will give you a deposit or at least hopefully half. It's basically just having respect for yourself also. Um, if you're going to be treated like that then what is the point? It's just going to give you a headache at the end of the day and then you're always going to be waiting two or three weeks until they get paid to actually give you the money. You actually feel better when you get a deposit or you get the money up front. Um, you feel a bit successful to be fair. Tip number two is going to be trust no one. Everybody you meet on Instagram or every client you usually speak to you're obviously not the first person they've spoken to about a music video. They have asked probably four or five people before yourself. So they're probably getting quoted a thousand pound or a couple hundred pound. They're obviously looking for the cheapest bid. They probably don't really care about the product. They just want to look cool in a music video. Trust nobody at the start. Like I said in that second message, I worked with that guy before. We did four or five previous music videos. We're getting on together. We would go out to dinner, drink, stuff like that. I think if I didn't pass them for the money, I probably wouldn't have got it. Um, it's just the fact of the principle, really. So if you add all the hours up I did that day alone, it was 3 hours for the drive, 8 hours to shoot the video and then the editing. So you edit the footage, it's like what, 10 hours? And then you send it to them, they give you the corrections which is an hour, hour or two. It's even an hour to export the video. So let me add that up. Okay, 3 hours for the drive, 8 hours shooting the video and all the waiting around, that's 11 hours. And then on your first edit you're talking about 8 to 10 hours to edit it, that's 21 hours already. And then you re-edit as well, say in our 3 hours including the export, that's 24 hours, okay. So let's see how much money we actually made off this. 24 hours divided by the 200 pound, that's how much you get paid per hour. It's just, it's, uh, it's shocking. So that's going to listen to tip number three, which is know your worth. People don't see all the hours we do, all the traveling, 
all the hours spent on YouTube learning new tips and tricks. They don't see all the time we spend alone charging batteries, let alone all the money you paid for your gear, which is what? MacBook, 1500 pound, your camera, your stabilizer, it adds up. You have to know that you're worth it and the opportunities will come. At the start, build a portfolio of four or five music videos, work for scraps. Once you have a good little baseline, that's when you start charging money. At the start, you probably won't think that it's worth it, but once you start getting a good paid job and you build your little invoices and your invoicing companies, it, it actually is, it's a very good feeling, especially if you're doing something that you love. Okay, so that's my top three tips on not getting scammed by clients. Hope that helps everyone out. Thanks very much, guys. And also don't forget to... To all six viewers or whatever. Thanks.